Imagine a universe completely different from our own a place where alien architecture glows across the night sky, replacing the twinkle of stars with the gleam of artificial light. In this alternate reality, distant worlds are not just cold, lifeless rocks orbiting distant suns, but homes to intelligent life beings who, like us, have shaped their environment and harnessed energy to light up their nights. While this might sound like the stuff of science fiction, recent scientific developments have brought us a step closer to that vision. One of the most astonishing discoveries of our time comes from the ongoing observation of Proxima Centauri. The closest star to our solar system, orbiting this star is a planet known as Proxima b Iraqi, Earth-sized world that lies within its star's habitable zone. Scientists studying Proxima b have observed what appears to be artificial lighting. On its night side, this isn't sunlight reflected from a surface or natural geological activity. The pattern suggests something else, something potentially intelligent. If these lights truly are artificial, it would imply the presence of a technologically advanced civilization, one that has developed the means to illuminate its world, much like we do on Earth. Such a civilization might be building cities, managing energy, and living under skies filled not just with stars but with the warm glow of their own creation. The implications of such a discovery are profound, shaking the very foundation of how we view our place in the cosmos. Until now, the search for life has primarily focused on finding microbes or signs of basic biological activity simple organisms that might exist under icy crusts or deep in ocean worlds. But this changes everything. We may be looking not just for life, but for intelligence. For sentient beings capable of shaping their environments, communicating across great distances, and perhaps even pondering their own existence just as. We do doubt if the lights of Proxima B are truly the result of intelligent life. Then we must ask, are we prepared to make contact? Are we ready to engage with a species that may be older, more advanced, or radically different from anything we've imagined? The philosophical and emotional weight of such a discovery cannot be overstated. It challenges our long-standing belief that humanity is unique or central in the universe. For centuries, our stories, our religions, and our sciences have largely placed humans at the core of meaning and purpose. But the possibility of another civilization, perhaps many civilizations, forces us to re-examine those narratives. As we search the skies for signals, lights, or signs of life, we are also, in many ways, searching ourselves. Our quest to understand other worlds mirrors our desire to better understand our own. What defines life? What defines intelligence? What values might other species hold? And how do those values reflect or contrast with ours? The discovery of advanced life would affect more than just science. It would ripple through every aspect of human thought. Religions may reinterpret sacred texts. Philosophies would expand their frameworks. Political systems might realign based on the responsibilities and dangers of communicating across the stars. Technology would evolve rapidly, spurred on by new goals, new ideas, and new threats. And, on a personal level, we might find ourselves asking what it truly means to be human. It could lead to greater unity among nations facing the cosmic unknown. Together or, alternatively, provoke tension and rivalry as countries and corporations compete for dominance in space exploration and communication. The realization that we are not alone could become either a catalyst for peace or a flashpoint for conflict, depending on how we choose to respond. But the ultimate goal in this monumental search isn't just contact, it's understanding and trying to uncover other life forms. We are also uncovering parts of ourselves, our fears, our hopes, and our sense of purpose. Every step forward in space exploration reflects humanity's deep-rooted need to explore, to connect and to be long dot at the forefront of this exploration stands one of the most ambitious instruments ever built, the James Webb Space Telescope. This powerful observatory represents not just a triumph of engineering, but a turning point in how we view the universe. It allows us to peer deep into the cosmic past, capturing light that has traveled billions of years to reach us. Through its advanced infrared capabilities, it reveals hidden galaxies, 
cloaked stars, and distant worlds invisible to earlier telescopes, but its mission doesn't stop at stunning imagery. The telescope's true power lies in its ability to analyze the chemical makeup of exoplanetary atmospheres. As light from a distant star passes through a planet's atmosphere, Webb can dissect that light to determine the presence of key elements, such as water, methane, oxygen, and carbon dioxide all potential indicators of life. These molecular fingerprints give us our first real chance to determine whether a planet might support biology as we know it were perhaps life forms beyond our current understanding. This shift from simply detecting planets to analyzing them is revolutionary. It transforms the way we approach the question of habitability. It enables us to go from speculation to data, from hope to evidence. Moreover, the James Webb Space Telescope offers insights into the early universe the conditions under which galaxies formed the birth of stars and the creation of the first elements. It helps us trace our cosmic ancestry back to the very beginning. In doing so, it tells us not just about where we are, but where we came from, its observations may even challenge existing scientific models. By comparing Webb's data to our theories about dark matter, dark energy, and the rate at which the universe is expanding, we may find discrepancies evidence that forces us to rethink the very structure of the cosmos, and this is why Webb is. More than just an instrument, it is a symbol, a beacon, a tool not only for discovery, but for reflection. It invites us to reimagine what the universe is and what we are within it, hidden galaxies, dying stars, unstable worlds teetering on. The edge of collapse each one tells a story we've never heard before. And among them, perhaps, are stories of civilizations who've also looked up at their sky and wondered if they were alone. The cosmos is teeming with possibilities, and each revelation brings us one step closer to understanding the vast and complex network of existence. We now stand at the threshold of a new era. As we move beyond radio signals and visible light into the realm of infrared astronomy, we are discovering signals that were once invisible to us. These findings may guide us toward distant worlds where life could flourish worlds where minds may be pondering the same questions we ask today. This new chapter in our search for extraterrestrial intelligence is not just about finding others. It's about evolving our own civilization, rethinking our place in a cosmic narrative that is far richer and more intricate than we ever imagined. Whether we find thriving alien cultures or traces of long lost ones, the journey will reshape our technology, our ethics, and our understanding of life itself. The universe has been whispering its secrets for billions of years. Now, with the tools and the will to listen, we're beginning to hear them. What we do with that knowledge and how we choose to grow from it will define not just our future, but our legacy. The stars have always called to us. Now, more than ever, we are ready to answer.